hello, hello. My mom has been managing BG5 for probably like a year. And considering my mom has a million different business ventures going on, I am going to be helping manage the BG5 girls. Today I have a meeting with Antonina and BG5. I believe these girls could be the next Spice Girls Pussy Got Dolls or more, and to me, that's like hitting the lottery. I like your glasses. Yeah, you know, more business savvy. Yeah. <laughs> ready to work? Yeah, but I haven't heard any of your current music at that all. That probably wouldn't be a good thing to admit. Well, like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I know. Yeah, no. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah. don't, don't worry. Did you that's know right. names, Rob? Yeah. No. I'm nervous. We'll no, nervous. We're, it, don't be too uh, nervous. I know how much you care about them. And yeah. I want to make a name for myself, so I want to earn that respect, and you'll see that, so. There's yeah. four of you guys, and I have three Laker tickets. I've already hid these Laker tickets. You well, hid the tickets? Yeah, I hid the that's tickets. That's ridiculous. So is how much Where you guys ask me. It's ridiculous. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. They go look for Laker tickets. Chloe, that's the stupidest <laughs> thing. They're anywhere there! Don't look in that drawer. <laughs> yeah, you're warm. Am I warm? <laughs> oh, where could they be? I got the golden tickets. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you get hey, the no, ticket? No, 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 no. What happened? Where were, they? Sister, where were they? Where were they? Relationship. I never asked where anyone they? to leave this They're room. They're in one of the drawers in the kitchen. Oh, man, you made us run all around I didn't the house. I didn't do anything. I said yeah, they were anywhere. You hit them in the kitchen? Who's getting the tickets? You heard me. Don't make me beg. She's getting this ticket. Clever. Wow, she's got that ticket. There. Mm -hmm. Kylie never, really never does go to any games. Kendall always does. So That's Kylie right. gets a ticket. Okay, who, does, who gets the other one? Birthmark. I'm just, it's a tough decision. I got mother, who father, gave birth mother, to you? father, mother. <laughs> Nurse. Sorry. <laughs> male bonding. Yeah! So yeah! Male, male bonding surpasses wrong. a drunk mother. Okay, honestly, <laughs> I am, deserve this ticket. I am disgusted by all you guys. I cannot waste my brain cells with all you freaks. Wasting yeah. brain cells. Dying over Seriously. these tickets is disgusting. 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 It's disgusting. It's disgusting. We got our tickets. We're gone. Wait a minute. I hope Jamie's out All here I want to do is go to a game. How funny is this? This is what they gave me at my freaking <laughs> appearance. Robert, are you graduating college? Is that what you have like a robe on you? No, it's a scarf. You look really old. Like you're like an old man. I d honestly want to put it up right there. Robert, this is not going in my house. I'm telling you really? that. Really? It's gold frame. It's actually pretty dope. This person worked really hard. Yeah, on this. it's amazing. I love it. Look how hard she worked, this girl. Doesn't she look like the Virgin Mary posing? Oh, she's not you. even Armenian. Belita William. Belita William Artotkom. So how was your club then? It's freaking nuts. Grabbed the mic right away, like as if I were about to perform, like entered onto the stage. Everybody was going crazy. Some girl kissed me. What? A girl kissed you? Yeah. You know Jamie and Mac are like so up and down with their relationship? Yeah, Mac hates Jamie. And Jamie hates Mac. Right, they both hate each other. But one of Shaq's boys came up to uh, Jamie and was like something about Mac. And, and Jamie said, oh, I hate Mac to the guy. <laughs> Mac hates Jamie because Jamie doesn't do <laughs> Mac does his job. He's here every morning. Like, he does his job. He does stuff for his money, etc. Jamie, like, is living the life and he doesn't do anything, so. And he, and he just messes up a lot of the time and crashes his car and goes into Laker games at the, at the championship game trying to get on the stage. That like was in, crazy You know, year. like that embarrassing, like, Lamar's name and everyone, you know, Lamar's got some pretty crazy dudes in his Lamar life. Lamar has a crazy little world that he lives in. Yo, that picture is balls. Oh. Someone made it. Some Doesn't this look like Mother Mary? Who made that? Some girl gave it to me at my appearance. I mean, they captured your... That, but that... That, that blank-ass expression that you always have on your face. I like it. Hi. Do you know where I can find Robert? Wait. I think it would be cool you just wear a dress shirt. Oh, 
Okay. After the next pep talk, I'm not gonna let my sisters or whomever kind of put in my head that whatever I'm thinking, whatever idea I have isn't good enough. So I've been working with the designer, translating all my crazy, fun, colorful, weird ideas in my head. I really like this one. Suck it to me. So when I go out to manufacturers and distribution company meetings, I have a professional portfolio done. I'm super proud and excited to kind of bring my vision to print. Do I get to pick the socks or do you have like a special pair for me? We'll pick something fun, something cool. Okay. They pop. Good, good. Malika was nice enough to do me the favor of just shooting a couple shots. Yeah, make them like more sloppier. No, that looks good. This isn't like my real photo shoot. This is just my portfolio. So I don't really care so much about who I'm using. I just want them to get an idea of where my direction is. You ready? You want to do that pose I showed you? You're good, you're good. You know, it, feel, it feels great. I did something on my own. I feel independent, but it's not over. I still got a lot more to do. All right, great. Well, put your, put uh... your clothes on, man. <laughs> Look at this pillow. They put pillows just here. Did you just break that? Yeah. <gasps> OK. You know what I love? That triangle. Look at that square cake yeah, up there. Yeah, I love that. My family gets cakes here all the time. I mean, they did Chloe and Lamar's wedding cake. They did Mason's first birthday cake. It's just something that is kind of a tradition. You guys, let's all sit down here. Maybe you're gonna Do we have, have forks? Yes. <gasps> Look at this chocolate chip cookie now. Chloe. I'm not eating any because I, I don't eat sweets. You have to try I'm the wedding cake. Any, it's not. traditional for you to have a taste of the wedding cake. You've got to try our wedding cake. I don't cake. eat sweets. Ever since the fight between Chris and Chloe at the engagement party, Chloe cannot stand Chris. You know, she keeps texting me how much she hates Chris, how much she hates his voice. Like, Chloe, chill out. It's not that serious. He's going to be your brother-in-law. Let's do That's this butterfree one. Wait, we'll do different tiers. This is so good, like, Mom. That's crazy. Maybe we'll do the white with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like the other two. Rob, that was for Mom. That one's one. really good, the carrot cake. Carrot cake is good here. Rob, like, when you go to the bathroom, all of this will be gone, and he's like, oh, they wash the dishes. Like, he'll just, <laughs> he eats it all. Rob so? has got, gained at least 30 pounds. Oh, my gosh. I gained 30 pounds, and people are like, she's pregnant with twins. Typically, I would not be the one to criticize anybody's weight since I, in my family, is known as the fat, chubby one. But I think Robert is not capable of controlling himself. Yeah. You're not going to fit into your tux. I have been eating healthy, Mom. Um, make sure that you put the cake away so Rob doesn't I sneak think, back. oh, Kim. You know, it's really not cool that everybody's picking on me, trying to call me fat boy or whatever. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to be healthy. And I'm going to lose weight before the wedding. I don't need to worry about whatever they're saying. He's got that Kardashian touch. Mom, stop. Let me see. Mom. Let me see. I gave birth to Mom, it. Let me see stop. it. Look at that. Hey, is this Courtney? It is. Is this Robert? Yeah. Do you, have you seen Kim's hair? Like, I met her to just get some stuff for my place, like just some coffee yeah. table books and stuff, and she was wearing, like, a weird blonde, like, wig trying to be, like, Dolly Parton or something, and, like, she just talks in a southern accent. And I don't care. Like, trust me, I'm a crazy weirdo myself, but I don't know if she's, like, trying to fulfill her, like, fantasies or what, but... What fantasy would that fulfill? Like, um, some type of sexual fantasy. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I was just asking you. Okay, love you. Hey, Roberto. Hey. Hey, Kenny. Stop. You look so cute. Thanks. Um, all right, I heard you're coming with us. Yeah. Does Kylie, uh, is Kylie a good driver? I'll tell you that, no, I'll tell you this. Yesterday I was blocking mom's driveway and Kylie like wanted to get out or something yeah. and practice. I have no idea. She reversed out and she was, it was pretty bad. Bad? It was so bad. It was bad. I'm, she stopped said she was fine. I think but. she'll pass. What car is she driving, first of all, to in the, the test? Like the, the school car. She's, she doesn't, didn't look too good last night, so. 
Well, let's hope she passes and doesn't follow in mine and Kendall's footsteps of failing on the first time. Oh, you failed on the first time, too? Yeah, I cried. Kendall was so upset. I cried, too. That's the point. So you learn, and then you move on. Um, All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. I was trying to figure out if we're going to discuss having, like, a barbecue for Rob. Not another barbecue. Why, you're done with the barbecues? Maybe like a get together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We just gotta do something that gets everybody around and everybody comfortable. Do you think it should be a surprise? Cause I feel like Rob right. always gets um, like nervous and like chokes up when, it's so, when he's around <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah, everyone needs to start spending time together. I mean, I feel like he's got all these friends that he grew up with that you don't even know. They keep calling me like, why have I not met Rob's future wife and mother of his child? And I'm like, yeah. I don't know what to do when I tell Rob, but he's just like, yeah. I don't know none of Rob's friends, and that's just different. For some reason, I'm so scared. Love you. I just cannot get this C-section, like, off of my mind. It's okay, girl. It's our last minutes with her in the inky yes. She's taking me. It's okay. Come on. It's nothing okay. to be scared about, because we got the best doctors looking out for you. She got your man she's right here. She's just scared. I know, because she's okay. I just want my baby to be healthy, have all her toes, be able to breathe on her own. Don't worry, this is totally normal. Look how pretty you look. Yeah. All right. Here we go. You have to wear a girl. Rob and China got into a big fight. Rob started Snapchatting his thoughts and his feelings, and that's really not like him. I get home, and China took the baby, took everything that we built for the nursery for the baby dream. So yeah, I am not feeling so good. Great We're all worried about Rob, so I brought Corey with me over to Rob's house just to see what was going on. That's crazy. The police just came, like eight of them or whatever. That's crazy. Do I look drunk in the video or something? Like, I don't even nah, drink. People can call people. All those things sound like people that don't know you I get was the idea out. that you were suicidal. Yeah. Uh, and that's what's going to happen. Or I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted people to know that I'm hurt, that this is up. The fact that you say, like, okay, in a year, if he's not together in a year, I'm gonna drop him. Like, who are you to say I'm gonna drop you? And, like, how much you guys wanna bet? I'll bet money that she does not come back to me. I know one thing, you cannot go back down that lane because it's gonna be worse. You just got a taste of how bad it can be. And you already know because I know y'all done been through situations, but it's gonna get way worse. Way worse. She tried, but she can't do it. I've always been super cool with her. Like, I have a different relationship with her than, like, you know, no. what you guys have with Kylie, and I always hear her out and stuff. But, like, just seeing the motives is, like, what's hurtful. But I just, that's what I need to know from her in person. She'll what? never no. tell you. I've always felt like them as a couple just isn't that healthy, and I think they know that, too. It's not, like, some secret. Rob can be really irrational, and he just has to learn to really take responsibility for himself and not blame it on China. It's just like all has to stop. You had a baby with me. I would expect you to, to be in love with me, and you keep saying we're getting married and this and that. I, you know what I'm saying? I would expect all that to be real. I wouldn't expect that to be lies and fake, and I wouldn't expect I'm believing you. It's so clear what this relationship is and that they're just not meant to be with each other. You should be out. What happened to where you're so insecure that you think she has the power, you have the power? I know I do, but it's crazy. We learn from the best, the king and the queen. You know what, this family would just fall apart if I wasn't in it. Yeah, it, probably it would. I am the moral high road, I keep it real, I try to. <laughs> Keeping it real. You know when I open up my mouth, you're going to have some words of wisdom. Amen, yeah. sister. I, Amen. Like, like the conversation I had with Scott. We had to talk man to man. When it comes to Scott, I think he just has to have a talking to about what happened in Vegas. Stop it. Stop it. Scott, you chose You saw what he did in Vegas. He shoved a $100 bill down a waiter's throat. Bruce, sorry I'm late. I was on a conference call in New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. This behavior cannot continue. He has to change, or 
He's out of here. First of all, you have a control problem when it comes to drinking. What the Mostly hell were true. you thinking? You are going to be a father. Certainly that behavior from the other night is not what you would want your son to see. Correct? Thanks. So. No. Kids learn by example. You're the dad. Can you turn yourself around, or is this such a big problem you don't even think you can do it? What's the problem exactly? <laughs> the other night. That, that will start with that. It was just everything bottling up inside of me, and then it kind of all coming out in Vegas in the complete wrong setting. And I am sorry for what happened. This will never, ever happen again, especially, especially if I'm around. I won't let it happen. Oh, yeah. You're just honestly lucky I wasn't there. I would have taken you out. Bruce, touche. Thank you, thank you. you know, I just want to know when I give those great, yes. when I give those great words of wisdom, does anybody listen? I personally do not, but I know Scott <laughs> probably does. I not so think, much. I didn't think so. People always say like, oh, you have a drinking problem if you wake up and like have a drink. Right. And, like, he definitely doesn't do that, but he's never said like, I have a problem. Right. So I think I- This I've... is not so true. Hold on a second. She was talking and no, you she just, was just gonna you say just something cut her about. Off. Um, but what I was going to say is that I want to be supportive, but I don't want to be like an enabler or whatever. Here's the thing she's, you're not remembering here. <laughs> I love this woman more than life itself. I would die today if somebody said one of you has to die. She happens to be pretty perfect, which is fortunate, but unfortunate for me, because she just doesn't really always 100% understand it's a real disease that I have, and right. it's not something I could just turn off and on. But now that I have the little baby, it's like, I don't really want to play any more of these games, and I just want to be there with her and see my son grow. And, you know, I've missed her, you know? I think a support system is very critical in this kind of process. You can't do this alone. Nobody can do it on their own. You know, use her as a, you know, as a person that can help you. You know, she can be there for you, and she can talk to you if you're willing to open up and tell her what's going on. It is confusing because I thought that I needed to let Scott do this on his own, but in order to make this work, I guess he really does need my support. So you guys willing to work on this? I mean, are you willing to work on the relationship? I'm not lying about it, Mom. Why would I lie about something like this? Seriously, do you think that's I'm a not lying about it, Chloe. It's just shocking that this has come to this. What the f it is what it is. I cannot go and analyze every situation. I'm going to jail. I could have gone without you even knowing, but now I have to stress out more because now you're f is making a bigger deal about what it is. It's not that big of a deal. like crazy if their daughter calls them and says, hi, I'm going to jail. How do you think I feel? Mom, how do you think I feel? Like, oh, I just got to go. I can't even deal with this. I got to go. Bye. Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe, but you're wrong. I mean, the stress. How else do you expect her to react? She's your mom. Morning. I'm leaving. Wait, I want to talk to you first. I don't even want to be there when Bruce receives this news because I honestly don't know how he's going to take it. I did get arrested before mm -hmm. in 07. The DUI. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So now on Friday, I have to go to jail. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. Because he's telling you congratulations, you're going to jail. It's not a joke. I, I didn't think it was a joke. She got sentenced to 30 days what? in jail. Chloe and Bruce are so casual about her sentence that it's sort of shocking to me. Because as a mom, it, it just weighs really heavy on my heart. I'm sorry, no, Chloe. This is like the never-ending story. You know, she's a good kid, made a mistake. She's gonna have to pay for it. It's gonna be very difficult on her, but uh, I can guarantee you she's never gonna have this problem again. It says, is she drunk? Khloe Kardashian is due to check into jail this Friday for violating her probation. But before that, she's gonna party it up. I mean, people are just retarded. The stories that the tabloids are right in, they're so bizarre and crazy and elaborated. I have a drinking problem, and now I'm an alcoholic. I just need to go to rehab. It's like, off, get a life. The 
press. Mm -hmm. Out of everything from this DUI, that's probably been the hardest thing for me. It just bothers me because I feel like there's no way for me to redeem myself. There's no way for me to be like, I'm not an alcoholic. All of us are under enormous stress. As a mom, I've never had a child go to jail before. It's weird. I don't, mom, we don't know how to Listen, act. it's weird for all of us. It's especially weird for me. It's happening to me. Okay, let's go. Grab Mason, because I have my shoes. I'm wearing a three, hold on. Oh, are you joking? What? I'll take Mason. You're annoying. Can you take the bag? You want me to carry this bag? Yeah. We're going downstairs. Yeah, carry it. <sighs> oh, oh, keep giving me dirty looks. I'll kick you in the balls with these shoes. I'll kick you in the crotch with these. I'm in no mood. Why? I'm very on edge with the not smoking thing. I'm literally about to freak out. What else is new? Mace, you want some bread? You want a dip? Okay, hold it like that. He's such a happy little baby, huh? Right? Oh, hey! Thank you, Mace. You're dipping. Mace, we don't dip phones in that. I want to look at you. used to be like glued to your body at all times. Like I would always be laying on top of you. You know, I miss the intimacy that we used to have. You're 100% the hottest mother that ever lived. You're a pretty hot dad, too. I'll carry you. <laughs> I hope that Courtney and I can remember why we fell in love and not be so distant from one another. I wouldn't mind trying to get back to that. I'm not sure how. Like seeing these shirts and stuff, knowing my dad wore them. It's just like so much, you know? It's like been so stressful and so much about like how much does this cost and this cost? Like, it's like I'm forgetting what all of this is supposed to be about. And like seeing all those clothes, it's like just like a lot to do with. It's okay. I'll get you through this, okay? And it's like hard because I can't really like be emotional in front of Chris because I don't want to be. Yeah. You know, like he didn't know my dad. It's like different, you know. I'm like stressing out and I taking it all out on Chris. I know. But there's like moments where I'm just like, <sighs> I wish my dad was here. I, I to, wish like, he was here too. See it all. I know. I know. <laughs> I realized that I've been taking so many frustrations out on Chris, and I've been like just not really remembering what the whole purpose of this whole event is about. I think your dad would love Chris. And Chris is a really good person. Do you know how proud your father would be of you? And you kind of live your life to be, you know, in his honor, you know? And you're a good person and, you know, you're nice to people and you're a good businesswoman and you're a that, kind like, person. On the outside, it's all about like the material things and like all oh, about I all agree. of that. And but which is and nice, like, but it doesn't really are, it's not know? life. It's not life. It's not what life's about. Like, it's about family. <laughs> and I'll get you down the aisle. Thank you. With all your diamonds and beautiful dress <laughs> and all that stuff. I'll get you down the aisle, okay? Bruce is like my dad. He knows what to say to comfort me. That'd be okay, baby. Seriously, I don't know what I would do if Love you weren't there to walk me down. Oh, don't you worry. I will be there in my new tux. Hello? Hey. Hey, Kim. What up? Mom told me that you are now managing BG5. Yeah, is that true? yeah, I just started, but Wait, uh, that is like so amazing. Do you understand how proud dad would be? That's like exactly he was in the music business. Like he would think this was so cool. Yeah, and I mean, this is like my first like, you know, project right now. So, I just don't feel comfortable in my like element. I'm not like confident. I don't know. I just feel like when dad was like really sick and he was you know, about to pass away. I mean, the one thing he just kept on saying was, 
I'm so mad at God that I don't have enough time with my son, mm -hmm. and I think he would be so proud of you. You're a Kardashian, Rob. You're not a quitter. You know, Kim's absolutely right. My dad would never give up. My dad would want to see me at least try in this business. So I'm definitely going to give it a shot and follow through on this. Perfect. Bye. Bye. Hamptons! There! Dude, this is the best you get out of me. Is it, ooh, this is a That's what bed. I said. I go, this is better than the house, really. Dude, longest flight ever. Why are we oh. kicked out? What did I do, though? She won't even take my calls. Dude, this pregnancy has been harder than any of the last pregnancies. But I, what, I can't go out of town without her permission? I mean, I knew Court was irritated that I went to Africa. But to, like, ban someone from coming to their own home and just to lock them out, that's just so ridiculous. So what, we're staying here tonight? She won't let us in. Tired. It's already no 7.45. She's dead asleep, I bet. I just understand how you guys changed so much in your relationship. Well, in the beginning, you guys were like the same person. Like years ago? Yeah. BK? BK. Before kids. Oh, before kids. That bitch was my girl. What happened, though? Now she's like, unless you live by my exact boundaries, this won't work for me. Her boundaries are like, can't leave the house after nine. Can't drink, can't go out, can't do anything. I don't want to, like, go out every night, but I do want to go out on occasion. Right. I think she just thinks that you don't have control. I don't. I get it. I'm not, like, a perfect guy, but I just wish she was a little bit more understanding. I think Courtney is quick to forget all the pain that I'm going through and all the memories that I do have out in the Hamptons. I'm thinking about my parents more, and the truth is, when I go out, you know, for those few hours, it kind of clears my head, and maybe I should think of a new way to clear my head, but I just don't know how to do that. It's not like I wouldn't take her out with me. She doesn't want to go anywhere. I think she thought she was coming to the Hamptons, and she was literally going to ride bicycles with you during the day, talk to me at night, and then go to bed with the kids and have, like, a perfect little world for herself. I definitely agree with Scott. Courtney had this whole preconceived notion of what was going to happen this summer, and there was no way of fulfilling her expectations. Oh, this feels so good just to sleep. OK, I can't deal with this Courtney stuff right now. Neither can I. She will be so mad if we actually enjoy this and we're not miserable. Oh. Yeah, that would really bust her chops. <laughs> oh, that looks so cute. <laughs> King always does the same. He'll always stick his tongue out, too. He's so funny. She's over it. This time is Chris. Hi. Hi. I wanted to show you something so funny. OK. Courtney's here. Court, look at this. Oh, is her tongue out? Her tongue is oh. sticking out. Oh, my god. I know. And then look at that this one. so Everybody always talks about like mother-in-laws and how they could be, but Chris is like totally different. Like, you know, always willing to give me like personal good advice. What did the doctor say? Does she look great? Everything's all right? Yeah, everything's good. With everything from like health insurance to talking to her about Rob and future plans and everything in between. Wow. Chris is like a second mother to me. Honey? Yeah? What are you doing? Checking emails. And cleaning up my computer. Are you still mad at me? Yeah, I just don't think it's funny, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's not that I thought it was funny. I just, I'm kind of embarrassed. I mean, I just want to apologize and tell you, it's not because I didn't think you were, that we didn't have a great <laughs> sex life. Yeah. We have a great sex life, mm -hmm. but I just, I just got this thing in my mind, and then it just <laughs> we'll like... put it in your mind? You're not going to tell. Okay. I just... Wait, no. Hold on, hold on, no, hold on. See, no, I just I got this like, thing honestly, in my honestly, mind. I don't like... I, I don't even like to take aspirin. 
just got a little carried away. Yeah, I mean, you did. I did. It was like, it's like a drug. It's like, I it don't even know drug. what. It is a drug. No, I mean the sex. Oh. It was, I got a little carried away. Now you're telling and me. And I got a little selfish. Come on, honey. Come on. You can be, have a good sense of humor. Come on. It was funny. Come on. It's funny. And I got you a little present. What's that? This is. Instead of makeup, stuff. instead of makeup sex, because I know you're tired of sex. Yes. Right now, so okay. no makeup sex. Okay. But you should be good for six months. But anyway, <laughs> go on. Oh, thank. <laughs> this is a little present from me to you. Which is a place where we can go have makeup sex. Oh my gosh. It's a ticket to Mexico. To Woo Mexico, let's go to Cabo. <laughs> Give me a little kiss. I won't get too close. <laughs> Are you sick Give of me? me? No, I'm not sick of you. Are you sure? I'm, I'm sure I'm not sick of you. But Are you going to ever yeah. have sex with me again? Yeah, I don't know. But I will go to Cabo. What do you, you mean you don't know? I don't know. I think you're Come all on. satisfied forever. No, I'm not. Yes, you Come are. on. Yes, you are. Come on. Anyway, let's go to Mexico. Thanks no, for I like, a good sport. Actually, we need to get the heck out of here. I know, right? Yeah. Boy, they look good. I love it. Okay. I love it. All, all right. right. Okay, Mexico, here we come. Okay, so you're not mad at me? I don't know. Are you going to bring that uh, special brew of coffee to Mexico? <laughs> no, no, I won't bring anything to Mexico. Are you sure? Just now you can't get out. You can't. No, no come on. Come on. Ah! Do it. <laughs> Thanks, honey. I love you. Yeah, I love you, too. Okay, I'm going to yeah. go make dinner. Mexico. Mexico! More sex! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Chris. This is pretty exciting. I don't think I've ever been um, involved in a book club before, so I'm really exciting. This is my first book club meeting. Woohoo! Well, I wrote a book about my life because you know, there's a lot of curiosity about what me and my family do. And then you start to think, well, if I'm going to go this far, I don't want to leave this out. Like, I didn't want to leave out why I got divorced from Robert Kardashian, or I didn't want to leave out all these really personal. important things and personal, Very personal and raw. Like, I opened it up and I went, I wonder if it was a mistake. <laughs> because you exposed so much of yourself, people started coming out of the woodwork and talking to the tabloids. How did you deal with that once it happened? You know, what I decided to do in my book, I, I talk about an affair I had when I was married to Robert Kardashian, and I talk about how painful that was, and that it was a big mistake, and I wanted to share that because it was the reason I got divorced, and I had to be honest. And then dealing with the people that come out of the woodwork, you know, I can't control that. Some of you might have um, questions, so Kelly. What do you think will be your most memorable moment or your most proudest accomplishment? Probably giving birth the best thing I ever did. I would have had more, especially since I get 10%. <laughs> I should have had a couple more. Pam had a question too, yeah. Do you ever feel like you just want to leave the past in the past? The bad things that have happened in my life, I think have made me into the person that I am today. So I, I try not to think about those or dwell on the, obviously the horrible stuff. But my past is really special. I just want to thank you. And I have to say that you're amazing. And I hope thank that all you guys you. Got, got something. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. I love the whole talk show world. If I could dream as big as I want, I would dream to be able to get up and do this every single day. So Kim just had her baby, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. When we come back, you know all those crazy rumors about Kim, Kanye, and Baby North, right? Well, I'm going to set you straight coming up next. I think because it's my mom's first show and we want her show to be the best, so we are being very critical of every little detail. Chris, where are you? What is it? Is it the baby? What? Is it the baby? Here's your baby, Monica. This is my beautiful stylist, Monica, and she just needed a bathroom <laughs> break, so I was just holding her baby. 
I literally thought it was North for like a split second. And since Kanye is very private about North, I feel like it's not cool. Good job. This is my daughter. Yeah. You did so well. Good job. Yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. We just have a bunch of notes. That's right. A bunch? Yeah. Is it bad? I just finished taping my first show. I just want to take a moment and kind of live on this cloud, but I wish Courtney could have just waited till a little bit later than to start criticizing my show. She's got to cut me some slack. Hey, Kylie, where are you going? What's up? I had a convo with Daddy, and he seems a little bit sad that you don't call him back or spend any time with him doing anything, or you never go to his Malibu place. I'm just not a big texter, so like I think he takes it a little personal. It's, it's not just texting, it's like actually going and visiting someone. I have someone. seen him. I always, every time I'm in Malibu, I go see him at his Malibu house. But he doesn't feel that way, honey. You know, he's used to living in this house 23 years with all of us, and he feels like you don't care about him and that you don't miss him. He misses you because he's out there by himself. You know what I mean? We have all this going on and swirling around us all the time, and so we don't think about it as much. I'm going to have the same talk with Kendall when she gets home from New York. All I'm asking is that you guys make a little bit more of an effort to be you know, more in constant communication with them. Like, give a, just every day when you wake up. I agree. So promise, you'll start. Why don't you go up there and call him right now? Hi, Dad. Sounds hey. good. All right, I got to go. I love you. Peace out. OK, I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to make that phone call. It is so hot in this house. I think it's your hormones. Oh. Wait, could I talk to you about something? Mm-hmm. Like, kind of serious? Mm-hmm. So, I just went to lunch because it's, we were celebrating Sheila's birthday. Mm-hmm. And I went like this, and I pulled out these tampons. Mm -hmm. And they were all flabbergasted. They go, why do you have tampons in your purse? And I go, because I was on my period. And they said, how the hell could you be on your period? I said, well, because hormone cream. Celeste is like, are you on birth control? And I go, birth control? Why in the world, at 60 years old, would I be on birth control? And she said, because you can still get pregnant. I don't think I could get pregnant. Well, you'd have to ask your doctor. If I am pregnant, I don't know what I would do. Please. Just call your doctor. I'm going to go feed Rain. I'll be back. OK. I'm going to call Paul Crane. Hey, Paul, it's Kris Jenner. I have a quick question for you. Okay. I started having my period because of the estrogen cream that I'm taking. My question is this, is there any way that I could get pregnant? Absolutely not. That's good news. Do you make eggs? Would I be making any kind no. of eggs? No. Scrambled? Fried? No, so you're okay. Never thought I'd be so happy to get a negative, no, you can't get pregnant. Hey, Chloe. Hi, Mom. Hey, you look so cute. So I got these bathing suits that are so cute. Do you like this red one? Do you want this? It's really cute. I think I have it, though. You do? OK. This is cute. Courtney got this for me. Yeah, but Do you already have this? Well, I can't wear it, because do you see the back? It's the thong. What do you think I am? You don't wear a thong? I mean, not in, not in public. Oh, wow. You are conservative. So I love seeing the boys. Did you have fun? I had the best time. I really did. He How's had the Tristan best time. Today? He, said, he was so happy that you guys were there. He was so thankful. Everyone loves court. I think the kids had fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was a good trip. I loved the house. It's gorgeous. Thank you. With those views and everything you've done. And I was so nervous going to the game. I wanted them to be, to play well and to win. And when they did, it made it so fun. Anyways. But I do want to thank you, and I know it meant a lot to him. 
Yeah. You looked so great at the game, and, and all the boys were talking about you after, and your butt. The oh, well, hello. You're like a mini me. Yeah, but you're like older than you've had 4,000 kids. Like to keep your body like that, it's fantastic. Oh my gosh, he had me doing so many squats this morning. Who did you Joe. work out with? So wait, they said I had a nice butt. <laughs> That's so wild. Why didn't you get me long handcuffs? Like I got you. There you go. Mom, this is really your look. I think you should do this all the time. Oh, where are you going? You have to pee? Oh, sh Are you okay? It fell. It broke. I am so happy to see my mom as this light, fun Kris Jenner. This is the Kris Jenner that I know. So the next time things get crazy, pull out that face paint and your mime costume. You're good to go. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? It looks like you're having sex. I can't figure it out. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm gonna go. Anyways. This was fun. Scott! Yeah? Hey. I don't follow. That's your poker look? Yeah. Are you going to throw people off by looking naked? Do I look naked? Yeah. OK, let's sit down. The dealer could be at the head. I'm going to start you guys out with 500. Check your bet. Thinking what could she have? This is what a real poker player does. They sit here, oh. they assess the situation. What could, what possibilities could Kimberly have? Two pairs. With Kimberly, the possibilities are endless. Take a ponder. What? How many kids do you have? How many kids do I have? Mm -hmm. Tell me. One. Do you want a lot of kids? I'm not playing this game with you. When did you go to bed last night? When? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is one of your tactics. My trick is being underestimated. I'm always underestimated in everything, and that's why I always come out on top. You can check or you can bet. I'm gonna bet my car. <laughs> All right. No, is this serious? You're betting yeah. your car? My Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See what you guys get. Flip it over. Got a pair of aces with a king yeah. kicker. Hi. I got nothing. What? Like Thank you. Going. I got a new Range Rover and somebody will be able to get a lot of money. Kim's pretty good at this game. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs>